almost exactly 40 years ago, about two weeks after I opened my life to Jesus Christ, now soon to be my Lord, I was sitting in my room reading my Bible. And I came to John chapter 3, verse 16. I need hardly tell you what that's about. But God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that all who believed in him should not perish, but have eternal life. And all of a sudden, to my intense surprise, I was overwhelmed by the love of God. And it was from that moment and uh, uh, in the days afterwards that I realised that the Holy Spirit of God had touched me in a powerful way. I began to speak in tongues, I uh, began to learn of the intimacy that Christ brings to us. And at first I thought, gosh, that's an amazing discovery, uh, being 19 and not knowing much about anything. And then realised that this was something that God had been doing since the beginning of him calling people to serve him. He filled them with his Holy Spirit. And that for 60 years before that, now 100 years, Elim had been a church that revealed to us all afresh what it is to be filled with the Spirit of God. What an amazing gift that was. When we think back a hundred years, darkness had fallen over Europe. The war was in its second year. People were dying horribly and terribly everywhere. And yet, and yet, God's light broke in by the Holy Spirit. It's such a privilege to be allowed to say something to you. And what I want to say is thank you. Thank you that you have remained faithful to the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you that you remain open to the challenges of the Spirit of God. We can't tame the Spirit. We can't channel the Spirit. We can't imprison the Spirit. But we can quench the Spirit. And what I want to end with is to pray that you will go on challenging us with your openness to the Spirit of God. Don't lose that sight of what it is for God's Spirit to break in. He broke in with Jeffreys and his band of people going around evangelizing and healing. He broke into the darkest parts of our world. He breaks in today. There is nowhere beyond the Spirit of God. You held high that flag in response to what God was doing amongst you. In the grace of God, by the power of God, in the power of the Spirit, go on doing it so that we may be blessed by you. Again, thank you.